Okay, thank you very much. So um, this talk is a little bit lighter than the than the other talks, but it's just as important. So in the movie Field of Dreams, uh, Kevin Costner goes about and builds a baseball field with the hope that the greatest baseball players in history would come and play. So about 10 months ago, I set out to do something similar. And I started by translating uh, a book. Uh, the book is uh, C++ 17, the, the complete guide. So you can see it here, uh, somewhere there. So it is in Spanish. And think about this, how many of you can find quality documentation in your native language? If you do, then, or if a company or a community provides a documentation, then you are empowering possibly, right, thousands or hundreds of thousands of people. So I said about then to translate a site to Spanish with C++ documentation. So that site is um, e, uh, escppreference.com. This is the yada yada, I'm a lingua file, sesky pedalian, right? C++ enthusiast, because every time there's more, so you don't, you're not an expert anymore. So um, as I mentioned there, I'm the translator for that. You can reach me at the email address that is there. So C++ um, documentation in CPP reference is very popular if you go to that website. However, you may be aware that there are many sites, excuse me, sister sites or brother sites that are in a, in, in a different language. So you can see, for example, here the, the uh, Spanish one, right? So the site was mostly abandoned until recently, as I mentioned. So the way that it was done is there was a port of about uh, 2013 for most of C++, some 11, some C++ 14. Translation is a mixed bag of uh, that quickly discourages. There are what we call errores garrafales, big errors in, in the translators, not the people, the automatic translators, no C++ 17, no C++ 20. So this is the current status. Right now, uh, most of the keywords, expressions, declarations, are done initialization, which takes a long time, is done a lot of uh, for classes and specific classes, C++ 11 and 17 classes, uh, some uh, C++ 20, right? Partial uh, for collections, uh, typically you do one and you translate a ton of them. Uh, all of type traits, I should say, that is completely done 100%, 11, 14, 17, and 20. Did you know that there's over 100 type traits? Uh, several 17 uh, features, a few features for C++ 20, 50% uh, of name requirements, all of the core concepts, and so on and so forth. Uh, compiler support is mostly up to date. So this is obviously a labor of love. So what this talk is about after all this is to invite you, if you speak Spanish, right, if you're a Spanish-speaking person, right, if you can participate and help. Right. Otherwise, you can trust me. I'll be done probably in 2023, which we, we don't want because then we'll have C++23 and I'll be starting all over again. So you can open an account, right? Or you can invite companies and say, hey, uh, can you pony up some resources to translate the site? Maybe you can do also, you know, get an opportunity and link this documentation into uh, Visual Studio Code, C Lion, right? Maybe you can create one of those plugins. So in essence, it's the call to action. If you speak Spanish, if you want to participate, you are invited. How can I contribute? Start small. Don't do everything at a time. Many translations take five, 10 minutes. You can pick a section, right? You can translate only that section and not the whole enchilada. And by the way, don't use the whole enchilada because that's slang, right? Translators are your frenemies. They do some things good, some things bad. So um, you can uh, uh, follow the, the tutorial, use a text editor, you can do it on the page. Here's an example, right? Uh, make pair, there's this big note that says, hey, we need help here. But you can see uh, in the circles, the stuff that is incorrect, right? And then over here, this is the source code or the, the source text, 
how it looks once you uh, you know you complete it. And this is a bad example of a translator, an automatic translator, right in red that translates cast as the cast in a movie and the word character as the character in a movie or in a book, which is incorrect, right? So all of those things are incorrect. So if you're thinking about using uh, transla automatic translators, beware, you're going to have to do a lot of cleaning. So saying that, kudos to everybody on encpppreference.com. I don't know who these users are. I just know them by uh, their uh, handle, tcannons, Fruit Derica, and Space Mission. Uh, wherever you are, thank you very much.